Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the scale feature in Onshape. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to look specifically at uniform scaling and non-uniform scaling. And in addition to this, we're also going to look at when, why and how you apply this technique. On the bottom of the screen, we have a number of different tabs. So this tab here gives us a quick overview of the different activities and challenges. And if you click on the YouTube icons, you will get the links to the YouTube tutorials. We've also got here a quick overview of where you can find extra resources and tutorials and different platforms. And in this task for today, we've got a tutorial tab and we've also got what's called scale and this is our reference model. If we have a look at our reference model, you can see here we've got a number of different features from extrudes, a fillet and a shell and so on. Now what we've also got here is something called transform. Within transform, there are some different options and if we right click on this, we can actually see what's been applied. So what we're gonna look at today under transform okay is scale which is the bottom option and what you can do with scale as you can see here you can scale an object okay an entire part okay up or down depending on the scale you want to achieve and also you can apply that from a uniform point of view so everything scales okay together as i've done here and you can also untick that and you can apply non-uniform scaling as well so what we're going to do is just come out of that. I'm going to go to this tutorial where we can actually apply some of these skills and techniques. You will find the scale feature okay, under the tool named transform. And when you click on this option here, you can see scale towards the bottom. So this is the one we're going to look at today. So what you need to do is think about when and where you want to use scale. So for example, say you've designed a, a product like this or a part like this, and you want to scale this, say down, because you want to make a scaled, quick scaled model, say on the 3D printer, you could select this, okay, type in half scale, uh, export that out and then 3D print it. That might be fine. However, when you do scale things, okay, it is a it's a quick fix most of the time. So if I was you, if you were if you've designed it like this and then you've suddenly realized, for example, that this is twice the size that you wanted it to be, okay, the best way okay of solving that problem is to go back through your timeline and update your sketches and features, such as extrudes in this case, and um, go back and sort it out that way. That is the better fix and that will basically cause less issues longer term okay however if you wanted a quick fix and you just wanted like i said to export it for some reason then you could do that the other thing or the other reason you might uh, want to scale a a part in on shape is it might be a what's called a derived part so basically it's an imported part that might have been designed okay in some of the software like fusion 360 or solidworks or creo or something like that and when it comes in you may want to scale it okay because it's been drawn at the wrong scale or it may have been okay drawn in inches and you want to scale it down to say millimeters okay or something like that that's when okay i would suggest that you use it but like i said if you've made a mistake and you've drawn something the wrong size and you want to scale it up or down say by half or whatever okay don't be lazy, go back through the options and change it. So that's how and sort of where you might use it, okay? So applying the scale is relatively straightforward. So we're just gonna make sure we've got scale selected. And what we've got at the moment is it says entities transform or copy or basically scale. So this is this particular part here and I can select it here like that. So it's selected, okay? And that's handy if you've got a number of different parts within this same Okay, studio. Uniform scaling, we'll keep that tick for now. And a point. So the point is a reference, it's going to scale to, or from or to. So we're going to use this point here, which is the origin, and that's turned on up here. 
and what we've got at the moment is num 1, so that means 100%. If I type in 0 0.5 and click, that's got down to half, okay, the size of 50%. And you can see here, it gives you a sort of a shadow of what it was, okay, and a full color of what it will be once you've applied that. So that's 0.5, so that's half scale. If you go 1.5, okay, that is half, okay, it's half a scale size bigger, basically. If you go 2, okay, you've got that double the scale, and so on and so on and so on. So if we apply, say, a scale of uh, 0.5 and click, that's going to be half scale. So to prove that, I'm just going to drag this okay, back right, before the scale. And I'm going to take a measurement of something. So I'm going to take a measurement of from that surface to that surface is two and a half. So that's the thickness, the wall thickness. And again, this is important. If you uh, are scaling an object, okay, and you and you scale up or down, okay, everything will change. So therefore, your the the wall, okay, thickness will change, okay and it will go either up or down. And that might cause problems depending on how you're gonna make it or use the part. And if we drag this down over now to activate that uh, transform, again, if we go into here and click that, and that is 1.25, so that's half scale. So I know that's scaled down. Again, if you go into, the, into that and edit it, okay, and we type in two and update that, Again, if we take a measurement from there to there, okay, it's five, because it was originally two and a half, it's now go to five, so it's uh, twice the size, okay? If we go back into there, we add uniform selected. If you untick uniform, you can then scale it, okay, in different axes. So at the moment, it is full scale, okay, one, okay, one to one, basically. So if I go here and type in two in the X and click, you can see it sort of distorts or stretches it or scales it in that direction. And I can go two on this one and it will scale it there. But it's still, in terms of Z or its height, it's still okay. As you can see, the same height. So that might be helpful. It might come in handy depending on the actual design you're creating. And again, you know, if I wanted to actually go half the height, I can then update that and it's half of what it was uh, originally. So you've seen in there how to scale. We've gone through uniform scaling, okay, and we've now gone through, okay, non-uniform scaling. And we've also used the point, okay, to scale from. The other thing you could do is you can create a copy. So for example, if I go back into uniform and I go copy, okay, you will see here, okay, a second copy appears. And if I click tick, you can actually see, obviously, I've got one part, okay, inside the other, right, from a scaling point of view. If I right-click back on that, and then tick that, okay, that part goes away, and again, I will only have one. So we've talked about if you scale your design, especially at this late stage, and you've shelled it out, then it will affect the thickness of that shell. Now, you might be thinking, well, what I would like it to do is, say, scale it up, Okay, so it's, uh, say, twice the size, okay, overall dimensions, but I want the shell to stay the same. So if you have a look in here, the shell was originally two and a half millimeters, and now, okay, it is five millimeters. So how do we do that? So it's about where you place, okay, your transformer shell in the timeline. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drag it up and place, okay, the shell or trans sorry the scale or transform before the shell so if we go back in time here so what we've got is we've got okay i'll just drag that again sorry and i drag this one up so we've got this design done all the extrudes fillets this time instead of shelling it out we then have scaled it up okay then the shell has been applied. And now if we check that size, again, it's two and a half millimeters, the shell, 
but then the actual overall size okay has been increased so it's twice the scale so that is also a very important thing to know is where do you place the transform or the scale okay within your timeline and especially if you're using a shell and you want to maintain that shell dimension or thickness and that can be really important for example if you're going to 3d print it so say if you're going to 3d print it with a two and a half millimeter shell and you scaled it and it's increased to five millimeters it's going to take longer to manufacture and it's going to use more materials and so on okay Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.